And welcome to Ask Bonnie. This is something we do every week on Web Waste where we pick a topic and then answer your questions on that topic and you're left so much smarter, even smarter than Fox Mulder. All right, so the topic this week is Karelian photography, which is a little different than Aura photography. So let's go ahead and get into the first question from Della in DeSoto, Texas. And she asks, what's the history behind Karelian photography? Well, it's very interesting because there's no established history except for the fact that it was an accident. Apparently, a Russian technician um, with the last name of Karelian stumbled upon a way to capture your energy essence on uh, film by using high voltage currents as well as uh, photography plates and some specialized film and uh, don't ask me how he figured this out by accident while fixing something in a hospital but it happened and nonetheless he and his wife developed a way to uh, make these pictures with a special Karelian photography process and camera so uh, it's not as easy as you think even though it was discovered by accident so that uh, that hopefully answers your question. All right, second question is from Steve in Baton Rouge, and he asks, well, how does it work? Which would help us with the first question now, wouldn't it? Okay, so the way Karelian photography works, and uh, bear with me on this, because I'm not much of a technician or a photographer, is that you're supposed to have high frequency charge go through a metal plate attached to a Polaroid film camera base, and then you put your fingertips on the film when the process is happening and then uh, the film is in a light tight bag and electronic exposures made. Now if that didn't make any sense that's okay because it's not making any sense to me and we have plenty of links that do explain it further but that is sort of the process in a nutshell and it takes 60 seconds for the film to develop with the image and uh, you actually don't need a dark room so if you have a Polaroid camera and all this other stuff you can actually do it. But I would go to the website just to figure it out because anytime you use anything to do with high electricity voltage, you should probably get the directions from someone who knows what they're talking about. So I don't want to be held responsible if your house burns down while you're trying to take a picture of uh, your energy essence. So go to that site uh, and it'll explain it. So Steve, be careful. Okay, don't blame me later if something goes wrong. All right, the last question is from Vance in Vancouver, and he asks, how do I interpret the photo once it's been taken? Um, that's a good question, because you're probably not going to recognize your fingertips if you took the picture right, and all you're going to see are these little circles with halos around them, and some will be dark and some will be bright, and some just won't make sense at all. So if you go to one of the websites that I've uh, listed here today, I'll probably explain it, but a couple of key points are when you have dark spots inside the halo of your fingerprint, that means you're having um, an auric entity is within your fingertip, which means actually that someone close to you has died and they're still surrounding you with their presence. So it's just basically someone that's interfering with uh, your own energy space, and that's what that means. Also, if you have a solid halo, it indicates that you have high healthy physical energy, and if you have a flash of energy in the photo, that indicates that you might be psychic. So you may actually see dead people not even know it. And if you take this photo, you'll have proof, or sort of proof, if anyone believes you. So hopefully that answers your question, Vance, and everybody else that asked questions this week. Go ahead and check out the links that I used, and hopefully you'll learn a bit more about Krillian photography than I was able to explain. And uh, maybe we'll take our own photos here and see if I have any psychic energy or any energy at all left.